You know, a man does strange things when he is isolated. He will be bored and he'll be shopping at Amazon at night and see an ad for hair clippers. And because they're on sale, he thinks it's a good idea. Well, I'm telling you about this because it's the second time that I cut my hair, my own hair, looking into a mirror doing this. Now beware of hair clippers that come with just Chinese instructions on how to cut your own hair. But I persevered. And uh, the second time, it worked out pretty good. The first time, I had big blotches at the back of my head. I looked okay at the front, but the back, not so much. I was holding a mirror, looking into another mirror, and trying to adjust the clippers. And it didn't work out very well. This time, it did better. Matter of fact, I'm getting confidence now. And who knows, maybe I'll be able to supplement my income as a barber. Uh, I'll offer after social distancing is lessened to cut your hair. <laughs> and if it doesn't turn out well, and it probably won't, I'll give you a free positive Christianity hat to cover it all up. <laughs> you know, life is a joy. And when you look at life in that way, you smile inside and it all becomes good. You have to have a mind that is stayed on God. And it will help you to persevere and it will help you to see the humor in life. And when you see the humor, when you can laugh at life, when you can laugh at yourself, it is one of the great, great, great stress relievers that we have. We have to go beyond just being serious all the time. There are serious things happening, but we have to rise above that. Well, maybe we can't do it by ourselves. Maybe we have to go to God and say, God, help me to rise above the current situations that we are all facing and see the good in life again. Life is living and living is fun and living can be joyous even when you're by yourself. You can look at the life of your daily existence and smile and see the good in it, see the humor in it. And when you do, I'll tell you, it makes life a joy. And that's what I pray for you today. I pray that life is a joy, even now, not waiting for another day, not waiting for some unknown future. You make life a joy. You find your joy. You discover your joy right now. And you, if you look for it, will find it. And when you can't see it, you pray to God to help to reveal it to your eyes and your mind. And you'll be able to see the humor and laugh through your days. Whenever you're having an overly serious day, pray for God to bring you joy. Pray for God to help you to see the good, to see the humor, and to give you a good laugh. And I guarantee it will come. I pray for your joy this day, right now. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.